Hello and welcome to this Let's Play. This is Patiayo and you're watching Patiayo Plays The Curse of Monkey Island. And this is a game that I absolutely loved in my childhood. It was like one of the most funny games I've ever played at that age. And I am excited to play it again. I kind of remember what the story is about and some scenes, but I don't remember really remember the puzzles, so... Well, it's kind of a surprise for me, too. And... As I said, I'm excited to play this game, so let's jump right into it. Enjoy! We're gonna play it on hard, though. I've never played it on hard before, so... That's something new for me, too. Enjoy! Whoa, that reminds me of the sound test in the movies ages ago. Deep in the Caribbean, Monkey Island. I love those old cartoon graphics. Captain's Log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean <laughs> for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... Curse of Monkey Island. I love this chill music. Oh, that... Memories are coming back. Memories of a good time playing this game. I really enjoyed the art style, too. This cartoonish, old-school art style. I'm kind of sad that games or TV shows are getting more... this weird 3D animated look. I like this look, too. And the setting is great too, pirates are awesome. I mean, I always ask myself, what would a pirate do?
And also, it's really smart to do this part with all the names in the beginning. Because nobody wants to watch everything when you finish the game, you just close it. But now you want to play the game, so you kind of have to watch it. And those point-and-click adventures are awesome as well. I really love playing those. I played another one on my channel before, which is Toonstruck. I really re recommend that game too. It's awesome. And funny too. And it has um, Duck Brown in it. Fire! From Back to the Future. You. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. <laughs> Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. <laughs> He's friend zoned. <sighs> Let's face it, Lechuk. You're an evil, foul smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, <sighs> uh, how romantic! <laughs> Shaboy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape the taste of my blood! <laughs> Lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boats and prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Ooh, the flaming voodoo cannonball. Part one: the demise of the zombie pirate Lipchuck. So they captured us. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip <laughs> over the of course. and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! All right, all right. Don't be so rude. Let's hit you with the cannonball. Blast ye scurvy dogs! Okay, we have balloons? Helium balloons, okay. Okay, so if we hold our left mouse button, we have the choice between examine, talk, or pick up. Make They're too heavy to carry. Okay. Oh, what about this ramrod? Let's take that. <laughs> it just fits in his... Pants. Water, and your mother's dress, you funny. Maybe we can climb out here. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Move out of the What? Way. You're thin like a twig. The cannon with you standing there. Well, you can. It would just hurt me. Muzzle? Mm, no. Look at it. 
It's the muzzle of the cannon. Okay. I guess we have no choice but to talk to the small pirate. Let's see if you can take this. Stand your distance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? You don't scare me, you mangy pirate. Hello, please don't kill me. Arrgh! I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Aren't you a little short for a pirate? <laughs> I'm oh, I'm not sure between those two. Aren't you a little short for a pirate? Hold your tongue, captive, or I'll be holding it for ya. Gee. I guess you are a little tall for a pirate threepwood because the door is smaller than you are. You sound pretty tough. Are you wearing a fake beard? <laughs> I'm gonna take that. Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave. Made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. <laughs> Ew. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Oh, God. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally, don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with the Ship of the Living Dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. How? Tell me more. No. Um. Yeah. Tell me Tell more. Me more. Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. <laughs> uh What about what those about audiobooks? audiobooks? To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 <laughs> on Parrot. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Arr, shiver me timbers. Tell me about those motivational lectures. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. <laughs> okay. Morbid? Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, you lazy scum. Get back to work, or I'll beat you with your own legs! Oh, man. Set me free, Wally. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate blood nose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. Um, yeah, what is behind that door? What's behind that door? Ooh, that's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. I doubt it. Okay, we know what's behind the door. What are LeChuck's plans? What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Okay, that's evil. Snap out of it, Snap Wally. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. Sorry. Um... 
<laughs> I don't know if it's the best idea to insult the guy with the gun, but all right. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep? Peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Oh, bring it on. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> um, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hit, poked his own eye. All there, there. Awesome. So we get to take this. All right. What about the cannon? Can we use it? Yeah. Oh, I can control it. Oops. <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry. Oopsie. Okay. You're dead already. Oopsie. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> well, let's take a look at it. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull Debris? This time. <laughs> Talking skull. Let's talk to the skull. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands period. <laughs> <laughs> Can I call you Bob? Lose something? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, the mighty pirate! I'm Guybrush. Sorry, sorry about blasting your boat. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? Hey, Bob. You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then. <laughs> Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? <laughs> I like that guy. You look great with a melting candle on your top forehead. On your forehead. <laughs> That's right. You're about to. F You're about to f as fearsome as a doorstop. Yeah. You're not very fearsome. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. You know, you'd look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Was your mother's father bald too? At least now you never have to worry about what to wear. <laughs> How can you see without eyeballs? Yeah, that's a good question. How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. Yeah, good comeback. Well, at least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. And accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. And I look good in hats. There you <laughs> go. Was your mother's father bald too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. I'm going now. Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, can I get this? I guess I'll just have I can't reach that far. Well, but we have that. Now at least I've lost some weight. <laughs> Can't get it. All right. That will reach it. 
but it can't catch hold. What about him? Boy, there's not much to do out here when you're just a bodiless head. Oh, wait. No. Hey. What? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, no. Well, at least he's not bothering us anymore. Ooh, it can't catch hold. So maybe if we combine this. Boom. Oh, nice! A sword! So... What can we do here? Strain rope? Door? Sherlock has found a combination here. Okay, maybe we can use the... This to cut that. <laughs> Taste cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. And then we fire the cannon. Out of the way, Wally! Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> oh god, move out of the way, dude! Neptune's navel, that was a close one. Oh, no. oh that's not good. Well, at least we got rid of the zombie pirate. Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Huh. Damn it. We lost the sword. But at least we got a flotation device. No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. <laughs> Are you self-respecting? Are you? Better not self-respecting than dead. Portray? It's LeChuck and all his gory. Uh, glory. <laughs> no pun intended. A teddy bear! The bear's too big to carry around, and the sword's a fake plastic one. Ah. Uh, okay. Home appliances. I have no place to plug them in. Bag? It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Awesome! Alright. Okay. Champagne bottle. No, champagne makes me all giggly. <laughs> I want to see that. A uh, gaping hole. Maybe we can climb up no, there? I can't climb my way up there. Box of chocolates. Eat it. Yeah, that stuff is disgusting, even for a pirate. A wreath? I don't know, that seems kind of creepy. It does. Chuck unused co comb. I think LeChuck needs it more than I do. Uh, that's probably true. Not anymore, though. Okay. Ooh, portal. That's not the kind that opens. Damn it. Hey, I can see the ocean floor. And there's a really angry looking skull floating around down there. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Nice ring. Can we look at it? It's a diamond ring! You don't say. Huh. Oh, isn't it like in movies or something when they use diamonds to cut glass? Maybe we can do that. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good idea. So, no self-respect, after all. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever! Is it really you? A happy yes, end! Wayne. Oh, a short game. Um... Did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer. A man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. 
Yeah, right. No ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow something always Die leads me. Stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh. Wally, you're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. <laughs> wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hole. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Uh-oh. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, i got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo <laughs> on this island that's freckle safe. That look. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... Oh, you fucked up. Shit. Part 2. The curse gets worse. Oh no, Elaine? She's not going to be happy about this. Oh no, she won't. And we'll find out in the next episode how we will proceed. This has been Patio Plays Monkey Island, or The Curse of Monkey Island. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and tune in next time to see how it continues. Bye-bye!